So the people that are instructional systems designers or instructional designers that aspire to have more performance impact, uh, who hope to have more performance-based instruction as part of what they produce, and to be able to recognize when instruction of any type is not going to solve the problem. Um, so when we're in there doing our upfront analysis and throughout the project, because you're doing analysis in every phase in design and development as well, but what, if you know what you're looking for, if you can find the other gaps so that you can help your client, because they want performance. They want mm -hmm. to s sustain uh, the performance as it is and not have it deteriorate and or they want to improve it um, drastically or incrementally. But, but so we are um, challenged in, in doing all of that. Um, I've lost my place here with, with the question again. Yes, yeah, so what, <laughs> it, it, we, we started off with what do you want your audience to know about the HPT video series? Yeah, so that, so, so that I hope that there's an appreciation of that it is diverse that it's okay to come into the field and not have a degree in instructional design, a master's mm. degree or a PhD to start with. There's a lot of people who are what Cammy Bean uh, famously uh, 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 be became known as uh, accidental uh, trainers, yeah. accidental designers. And um, a lot of people backed into this and have brought something to the practice of instructional design, the practice of performance improvement because of their varied interests and background. Um, so I'm just hoping to capture more of that, more diversity of people that are doing interesting things. Now, it, it's hard for me to screen people to know that are they truly evidence-based or mm. evidence-informed or research-based or research-informed. Sometimes they're just doing stuff that seems to work and there's no research one way or another. So part of my challenge is to explore the edges uh, without getting into the snake oil and foo foo uh, and all yeah. of that. So um, I want to be open to those kinds of things, but I want to, um, but I don't want to inadvertently have shared some snake oil simply because I was myself not aware that it was snake oil. <laughs>